So we've just picked up this Mustang from a good friend of the Detail Garage, and you guys have been wondering what's the proper way to wash your car, as well as how do you detail your car. So we brought this car in to show you guys exactly what you need and the proper techniques. And we're gonna do a full mini series on the exact procedures, the exact products, and everything basically need to detail your vehicle on this Mustang. So it's gonna be a full blown Mustang detail. Hope you guys stay tuned until the end. We're gonna do some awesome stuff for this vehicle. If there's any comments that you guys want or if there's anything we didn't cover, be sure to leave a comment below. You know, we love to hear your guys' feedback. We love to answer your guys' questions. So whatever you guys have to say, let us know. We'll try and get into the video, or if we don't, we'll get in the next one. As I'd mentioned, we're starting a full-blown detail on this Mustang. Starting off with the dirtiest area, which is the wheels. I've already got my bucket set up here with just plain water. This is gonna be my rinsing bucket. And I placed a dirt trap all the way at the bottom, which is gonna help reduce as much of that corrosive brake dust from coming back onto the wheel and scratching the finish. I'll start off with this easy reach wheel detailing brush. This is a soft bristle brush that can contour to the spokes or anything that's intricate around the wheel. This way we can get off as much of that brake dust and get this wheel looking right. Then. We're gonna clean the face of the wheel using our green flag tip brush. This is a soft bristle brush that cleans off the majority of the face, which is the most obvious area. And then to finish it off, we're gonna clean the tire using our stiffy blue brush. And this hard nylon plastic brush takes care of any road grime or previous dressings to bring back that natural rubber. And it'll make it easier for us to apply new dressings so it'll last longer and look better. But before we begin, we're gonna rinse off the wheel to get as much of the heavier, loose brake dust off. And it's gonna make it easier for us to clean. So as you can see, by rinsing off the wheels, taking care of a lot of the loose dirt and debris, it's gonna make it a lot easier to clean. Just starting over here, as I mentioned, this bucket just full of plain water. That's just gonna be our rinsing bucket. But to help us clean, I'm gonna be using some sticky citrus wheel gel. And just spraying it directly on the surface of the tire, as well as the rim, it's gonna emulsify, and it's also penetrating the surface to give all the embedded junk and grime so that we can reveal a natural clean wheel. Now you can use sticky wheel gel on basically any wheel surface, whether you have painted, chrome, OEM, any kind of wheel, and it's gonna trap all that grime and make it easy to clean. But the best part is, is it creates a foaming action, which creates lubrication, and it also suds up so you can pull off all that brake dust. To add a little bit of cleaning power and also some more lubrication, I'll spray some sticky wheel gel into the brush. This way, as we scrub, we're not gonna be grinding any brake dust into the wheel, creating scratches. And we'll start at the highest point and just working back and forth pulling off all the brake dust or anything you might have picked up as you drive. And you can see it creates this foaming action which safely removes anything that can be sitting on the wheel. This brush is great because it contours to the small intricate areas like between the caliper and the wheel where there's a small tolerance. But since the brush is so maneuverable, it can go all the way to the back of the wheel to get off as much of the grime to give you a perfect finish. So, as I had mentioned, whenever you do a full blown detail, you wanna start with the dirtiest area. And the wheels, obviously, they pick up all kinds of grime from the road, anything that can land on the surface, and also brake dust, which is highly corrosive. It can penetrate the surface, deteriorating your clear coat or paint job on your wheels, and can actually cause your wheel to fail over time. But, before you start any kind of detailing, you wanna make sure the car is cool. We've brought this car in a couple hours ago, so it's had plenty of time to cool off while we're in the shade here, which brings up another good point. A lot of you guys ask, can you detail your car in direct sunlight? As long as you're using the right products, it is possible. So if you're using a pH balanced soap, it's not gonna dry on the surface creating stains or any kind of water spots. But also, as I said, if you bring it into the shade or if you can create your own shade, it's gonna reduce that risk. So we're just gonna keep on working and then get to the foaming process. So now by getting the harder to reach areas using the easy reach wheel brush, we're gonna move on to our green flag tip brush. And as I had said, this is a soft bristle brush that takes care of the most obvious area being the face of the wheel. So again, I'll spray some sticky citrus wheel gel into this just to add more lubrication and cleaning power. And then we'll just hit the face of the wheel to get off any last residue or anything we pulled out of the back of the barrel of the wheel for a perfectly clean rim. Now, as you can see, the bristles of this brush are very maneuverable. They're very flexible, so they can get between lug nuts or intricate areas like on your emblems. 
and it takes care of anything that was sitting on the surface. So now as the last step, we're gonna clean any previous dressings off the tire and any kind of road grime just so we can reveal a natural black tire that's gonna make it easier for new dressings to adhere and bond to, making it last longer, looking better. So just a quick tip, whenever you're working on a car that either has a lowered suspension like this Mustang where it's hard to get your brush up here, or if it's low profile tires, to get the hard to reach areas or the areas you might have missed, just roll the car forward or backward. This way you can get all the way around the wheel for a uniform shine. So that was simple enough. Now that I finished off this one tire, I'm gonna move on to the remaining three. As you guys can tell, I just finished rinsing off the car. Starting at the top where the heavier, loose dirt is at, we rinse it down just so we're not getting any dirt on the areas that we've already cleaned. And you may have noticed that I was using the hose in the lowest pressure. That's because this car actually has a vinyl wrap stripes. And if you're using a pressure washer or a high you know, pressure hose, it might lift up and peel that off. The same thing with the windows where there's decals. Using a high pressure hose can knock that stuff off so we want to be as gentle as we can. This way, we one, don't scratch it, and two, don't peel off any vinyl. So now, we're gonna move on to our buckets. As you can tell, I've got two buckets here set up with water. One's gonna be our wash solution full of C9 wash, and then our other's gonna be our rinse bucket for wringing out our big chubby. But before we do that, we're gonna place a dirt trap in each bucket. So I've got two dirt traps here, one green one, one red one. The color does not make a difference, but it is to help you coordinate which bucket is which. So we'll start over here with the wash solution. So pressing it in at an angle and then pressing it all the way against the bottom, that's gonna reduce any air getting trapped underneath it. And the same process for the rinse bucket, place it in at an angle and then press it all the way against the bottom. And now that it's created a seal, it's gonna prevent any of the dirt and filth on the vehicle from coming back through the cones and being placed back on the car. So now we'll place about an ounce of C9 wash into the bucket. So a lot of guys ask, what's an ounce? It's about three capfuls. So if you're ever trying to measure it out, just dump three capfuls in and right into your bucket and you're ready to go. So now we're gonna go ahead and foam this up and then start foaming the vehicle to get the loose dirt and debris out there without scratching. And I almost forgot the most important part. We're gonna be using our Torx snow foamer this is the foam cannon I've chosen to give us tons of suds and lubrication as we wash. The suds act as lubrication because they emulsify the dirt and this is gonna reduce any kind of scratches or swirls that you could be causing while you wash. And I'll place about an ounce in the bottle as well. So now I'll tighten the top and just mixing it back and forth. This is gonna create our wash solution that's gonna foam and create tons of suds. You don't wanna shake the bottle too much because that's gonna create foam inside of the bottle and it's not gonna foam as well as it would if you just shook it normally. So now we're ready to go. Yeah. Check that out. C9 Vitalize did an amazing job producing tons of suds that are lubricating the surface as well as emulsifying any dirt that's on there so we don't scratch it. So over here I've got my big chubby and this bucket full of soap and foam. This is going to attract tons of soap so we can also add lubrication as well as some cleaning power. And whenever you do a detailing job you want to start at the highest point so we're going to go to the roof of the Mustang and then working in straight lines we're going to pull off all the dirt anything that was sitting on top of the surface. This way we don't scratch. If you don't do it already, it's a pro tip to lift up your windshield wipers as you're cleaning your windshield because as you wash, all the stuff is gonna run up from the top 
can collect right here on the windshield wiper blade. So by lifting it up, you're wiping that away. This way, when you're done and rinsing off the vehicle, it's going to be a perfectly dry car. So the big chubby, it's collected some dirt and debris. Now we're going to come to our second bucket and pressing it all the way against the bottom where the dirt trap's at. It's going to help force it underneath those cones and it's going to keep it off the car. Now to further reduce the amount of dirt coming back onto the vehicle, I'm going to take it outside of the bucket and wring it out. And now we'll just come back to our clean water solution, get some more foam and keep on washing. Now, although C9 Vitalize was designed for cars with any kind of coating, whether it be ceramic, carbon, but uh, this car doesn't have a coating, it's still going to give it hydrophobic properties, which is going to make it super slick. And it's also going to give it a nice clean shine. So this blue metallic flake is really going to pop once we're done cleaning. Also, if you notice this car has two different colors here, it's actually got a vinyl stripe running down the center. And the stripe is a, a pearl metallic. So by cleaning it with a hydrophobic property soap such as C9 Vitalize, it's going to give it a protective property that's going to make it last as long as it can. So to conclude any wash process, you want to dry the vehicle. This is going to help prevent any water spots or staining, and it's also going to make the vehicle look great. So using our woolly mammoth towel, I'm going to start draping it on the vehicle, pulling up all this water. Starting at the highest point, just like I did when I was washing, this is going to prevent bringing any water in places that have already dried. We can see just working in straight lines, this prevents any kind of scratches or swirls, and it also makes it easier to dry the vehicle. So C9 Vitalized Wash did a tremendous job picking up all the dirt and debris that was sitting on the surface. Now you guys asked for dirty cars and although this one wasn't super dirty, it had the daily driver grime and debris. Now waiting for your car to get super dirty is like waiting for your teeth to fall out when you want to start brushing your teeth. So preventative maintenance is just by washing it weekly or bi-weekly to get off all that road grime and debris to keep your vehicle looking right. Now if you notice while I was washing, I wasn't scrubbing on the paintwork or working in circles. Just by letting the soap do its work and emulsifying any dirt and debris, it made it easier for me to wipe off without scratching. So, to check out these products, go to our website, chemicalgas.com. If you like this car or this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because we...